Fox Business Alert, Disney just opened its vault and handed a golden key to AI. That move is popping the stock. It's up 2%. The entertainment giant is making a $1 billion equity investment in OpenAI. It's a three-year licensing deal, OpenAI's first major content partnership, and will allow users to make content on OpenAI's Sora video platform. And what's going to be on it? Well, it'll feature more than 200 of Disney's copyrighted characters, across its namesake Disney princesses, Pixar, Marvel, and Star Wars content. And there's no slowdown in sight when it comes to major companies adopting artificial intelligence in some way or another. Let's get to Madison Allworth, who's live at the 10th annual AI Summit, New York's Manhattan Javits Center, where the integration of AI across several industries is on full display. Madison, I bet you're seeing some cool things. Oh yeah, absolutely, Liz. I mean, the story here is that every company is pivoting to include AI. You have the normal attendees like Google Cloud and IBM, but then you also have companies like Ford. I got to talk to the chief AI officer at Ford. Yes, Ford Motor Company has a chief AI officer, and they said that they're deploying AI for things that include testing for their vehicles, things like proprietary wind tunnel simulations. It previously took 16 hours uh, to complete for one cycle. Now we can do this 5,000 times faster using artificial intelligence. This now puts the person who is looking at these, this engineer, in the driver's seat, not having to wait for this task to complete, but rather to have a much more iterative cycle, um, looking at more um, options, for example. Lockheed Martin is also here, and they shared with us in a broadcast exclusive their new AI announcement. Asterisk AI for government. Think of it as a single integrated ecosystem that makes it seamless for federal agencies to adopt the tech. It provides quick commercial capability to the government, so it can be implemented at a much faster pace, which is an initiative from this administration. And most importantly, it provides a fully comprehensive, full suite of AI capabilities that the government can implement across all of the agencies. And they can implement it as quickly as a commercial solution, which is very rare in the public sector. This announcement, Liz, five years in the making, and it combines over 55 large language models. It is an open framework, which makes it agile and able to move quickly as AI continues to get better and stronger, which it does over the 10 years that this conference has been going on. Liz? Madison, thank you so much.